Okay, today I want to show you an upgrade we're going to do to the shower in our RV. This is the way it came when we bought it. And it works out okay, but living full time in it, that shower head just don't cut it with a small hot water tank. <laughs> Okay, that's the pressure we get out of the shower head with both hot and cold running wide open. You can see that's not really enough to feel right. You can see it's not a whole lot better than just a trickle coming out of the shower head. And what I'm going to do today, I'm going to replace that stock shower head with an Oxygenics body spa. I'm not going to get into the Oxygenix a whole lot and do a fancy unboxing or anything. I'm just going to get it installed and show you the difference when we're all done with it. Okay, I got my shower grades, shower upgrades finished and figured I'd show you what it looks like. Got the new Oxygenix shower head up and I also decided to install a new faucet while I was at it. Just wanted to get something that matched. And I'm glad I pulled that old faucet out because if you can see the caulking I added around the faucet, it was getting water through behind it with the old one in there and I didn't know it and you'd never know it in there. And as we all know, water is a big enemy to the floors of these RVs. It doesn't take much to ruin the floor real quick. But I'm pretty sure now with the new faucet install and the way I got it sealed up really good behind it I won't be getting any more water back in there. Back to the main topic this oxygenic shower head. Wow it's really impressive. I took a normal shower the other night just like I usually do and normally by the end of my shower I'm about out of hot water. You can just start to feel it getting cold. With this new shower head I finished my shower up, the water was still good and hot, and I stood under the hot water and just left it run for about an extra minute. And it still never got cold, I just shut it off and ended it there. Now I'll turn this thing on and show you what the flow is like with it. Okay, I got both the hot and the cold wide open. And you see it keeps that little stream running. That little stream that's running is there just to keep it so you don't get too hot of water when you turn it back on. There's the water flow. And if you remember when I turned it sideways before, it wouldn't even spray a couple inches out of it. If I turn it upside down right now, it would probably spray and hit the ceiling. Before upside down, it just barely trickled out of it. And there's been no changes to the water system, still plugged in right where I was. All I've done was change shower heads. And my wife took a shower shortly after me, and she was also super impressed with it. Was able to get her hair washed and rinsed much better than with the old one. And found that I like this quite a bit. The only questions I have about it is the weight of it hanging on the side of the shower as we're going down the road is that going to bounce around too much I might have to remember to take it down and lay it on the floor of the shower before we move and it's got this little adjustable ball socket at the back so you can adjust the angle on it but no matter how tight you tighten the ball up it doesn't want to stand up real good in it I may end up getting it in position where it works good for both of us and putting a little dab of super glue on that ball to hold it up. Well, that about covers everything. I didn't really go over the installation on it in this video. I just wanted to show you the difference from start to finish. 
the installation if you got a little bit of plumbing skills it's very simple I mean if you're just changing the shower head you unscrew the hose from your faucet screw the new hose on screw the new hose to the oxygenics head and you can put the oxygenics holder on the wall if you want to but that about covers it all as far as installing the faucet very simple take four screws out pull the backer plate off unhook the water lines to the back and just unscrew off of it take the nuts off the back of the faucet slide it out slide the new one in tighten it up put it back in place put some caulking around it and the job's done if you like what you see here if you like the content of my videos please hit the like button down below that thumbs up and if you want to see more of what I'm doing hit the subscribe button if you have any comments on this or if you have the same shower head and have run into little problems with the ball holder like I told you please comment down below let me know how you fixed it or what you had going on